The Settlers, Rise of an Empire, is the newest installment of our reference empire-building strategy series. The player creates bustling cities in the medieval world in which everything is visible, lovingly animated and highly detailed. All settlers have their own daily lives and they interact naturally with each other. Thanks to this great combination of accessible gameplay and stunning graphics, the settlers ROAE will be the best settlers ever made. This is the Northern Climate Zone, which represents the coldest of our four climates and will be a new challenge for the player. Here you will find fjords and glaciers. There will always be some snow on the ground and the winter will be long and severe. This is easily seen, looking for example at these ice cliffs. In the winter, the rivers freeze over and snow covers the ground. That makes farming impossible and fishing a lot harder. To manage your economy well also means to understand how the seasons interfere with it in the different climate zones. But even here, you will be able to build beautiful and big cities if you learn how to live with the climatic challenges. Such a city here has about 40 buildings and 150 settlers. Also, all the buildings are already fully upgraded. You can imagine that making all the people happy and providing them with enough food is quite a challenge. The more sophisticated your products, the more interesting and rewarding the animations. Like at this building, the Siege Engine Workshop. This guy has some trouble convincing the crane to grab the box. Now you've mastered this cold climate zone, just imagine building up a big city in a very hot area like here. Farming or cattle breeding will be very hard, as water is a very rare resource. You will even have to buy some water from NPC villages. But you're not the only one looking for fresh water. It seems that some desert raiders want to rob your trade cart, and it seems that the trade cart has no chance to escape. Next time, you should protect the cart with some soldiers, or even with your knight. Each of the six knights has a different special ability that helps you in one way or another to succeed. Playing the same mission with a different knight will change the ways you can solve the mission. But you need to be careful in choosing the knights, as your choices will have a direct influence on the storyline. Our knight Hakim should be a bit more careful with those gazelles, as animals are extremely important in this climate zone. But you will not be the only one who needs food. Predators like lions also need food. And if you hunt all the zebras in this area, the hungry lions will have to find other sources of food, and might even try entering your city. So always be careful, and interact wisely with your environment. Let's go back to Middle Europe, where we'll have a look at the military system of the game. Even if the Settlers is a building strategy game, you will meet other barons who also want to expand their empires. When you're not able to solve such conflicts peacefully, you'll have to protect your Settlers, which means you will have to fight. In this case, you're threatened by a big army that's already formed right in front of your gate. Put them down! 
you'd better send your troops to the walls and defend your city. If your enemy realizes that they have no chance to win, all their soldiers will retreat and run for their lives. Because all siege engines are very slow to transport, your enemy will have to leave them behind, so you'll also have a great reward. If your economy runs well, you should not be afraid of siege armies like this one. So even in times of battle, caring for your settlers and your city will remain the key to your success. In our last map, which is set in the southern Europe-like area, we will have a closer look at the needs system and the interaction with non-playable characters.